Thank you, Madam Chair. My name is Sanaya bin Bari, and I will speak on behalf of Negev Coexisting Forum for Civil Equality. I wish to draw your attention to State of Israel's efforts to displace the indigenous Bedouin from their ancestral land. Since the creation of the state in 1948, Bedouins have lived as internally displaced citizens within Israel. Today, nearly 80,000 indigenous Bedouin live in so-called unrecognized villages, which are characterized by a lack of basic services. They are denied running water, electricity, telephone lines, paved road, schools, medical services, and other public institutions. Further, the Bedouin are not secure in their own homes. All buildings in these villages, about 50,000 structures, are considered illegal by the government even though it is impossible for the Bedouin to apply for building permits. Thus, homes can be demolished by the government at any moment, increasing poverty levels and inflicting great hardship on the most vulnerable who are the women and children. In the last 12 months alone, the unrecognized village of El Aragib has been demolished for 21 times, leaving 300 residents exposed to the hot days and bitterly cold desert nights. The recent spike in the number of homes lost in this year seem to be in line with the government's policy decision early last year to triple the demolition rate. As a Bedouin myself, I am compelled to remind the forum about these challenges facing the unrecognized villages and the seriousness of the state's action against its own people. The Arab Bedouin face the harshest consequences of discrimination through law as well as policy and practice. I draw your attention in particular to a new governmental plan to deal with the Bedouin. The plan resulted from the private commission established to implement the recommendation of the previous commission is yet to be publicly released. However, portions of the leaked document reveal that the government will recognize less than a third of the area claimed by the Bedouin under the Israeli legal system to be recognized as their traditional land. Additionally, thousands of Bedouin will be displaced with their villages are transferred to new locations. The implementation of this private commission will have a serious determinant impact on the Bedouin population in southern Israel. It has become clear to us that the government is moving to disinherit the Bedouin from their ancestral land. Thank you for turning your attention to these issues.